Yo, hello, it's Slavika from Editing Visuals here, and today I will show you how to make this trippy roto brush effect. Let's begin. First thing you will want to do is duplicate your clip layer by pressing Ctrl D, and now let's rename the first layer that we had to something like background. Now let's go to our newly duplicated layer and right click on it and press recompose. And here, select move all attributes into new composition and call it like roto one, for example. Press OK. Double press on your pre-composition layer here, and now double press on here. Pick up your roto brush and start roto brushing. We already have a tutorial on how to roto brush on our channel, but basically what you need to do is just roto brush your character out. I'll get back to you after I'm done roto brushing. I am now done with the roto brush, so if I uncheck my background layer, it's just gonna be yeet. And now we can double click on our roto brush layer, and press Control alt y to make a new adjustment layer. The first effect we will add on the adjustment layer is deep glow. Now we will add a pseudo color, change the frequency to 2.6, keyframe it. Now add invert, you can change this if you want, but I like it just as RGB. Add S Edge Detect. Here, make the edge smooth to 1. And you can mess around here, but I like to set it to mono edges here. And the last effect, I will add is S Flicker. Here, I like to change the amplitude to something like 0.53, so we will flicker a lot. And now we can press U, and here we will have our S Pseudo Color Frequency keyframe. And we can go like 14 frames forward, so let's just go like 14 frames forward, like somewhere here. I like to set my frequency to something like 4.09. Now it looks like this. Take your keyframes like here, like select all of them, and maybe just push them like to the start. What I like to do is go to the S pseudo color frequency, hold alt, and press on the stopwatch. And here I like to type loop out like that. And now it will start looping. I really recommend going to your adjustment layer here, pressing on one of the effects and pressing control A. And now going to animation, save animation preset. Call it whatever you want. I would recommend calling it trippy roto brush effect. I have already saved it. Press save. Go back here. So I like to press T, keyframe it. Now go back to the start and here make the opacity zero and now let's select both of these keyframes press f9 go to the graph editor i like the graph editor something like this like a smooth way into it you can also toggle on this button right here let's go out of the graph editor we have basically made the chippy roto brush effect now what i like to do here as well is you see he looks pretty cool standing there just by himself but i like to change the background so for the background i really like effects from our halloween pack which we have on our editing visuals website on the website we have even other editing packs which help you elevate your editing potential and much more. Go to the effects and from one of the Halloween effects, I like to type Halloween. My personal favorite effect is Halloween effect 12. You just add it on your background. I don't know, I just love this look. If you want to also opacity into the background, you can not do like this and you can press on the background, press Control alt y it will add a new adjustment layer and now we can add Halloween effect 12. Press T, opacity here 100% and go like somewhere here. Make the opacity like zero. Select both of them and press F9 and you can mess around with the graph something like this. Another effect I recommend adding is Halloween Effect 8. Another effect I recommend adding is Halloween Effect 1. Amazing background. Another one I love is Halloween Effect 14. If you really want these cool backgrounds, then you can check out our Halloween pack or even our TV Glitch Overlay Pack 2, which you can just add any of those effects as well and these will look just as good. Now I will show you another simple background that you can make. Type Deep Glow, add it to your adjustment layer that we made. Set the exposure to 0.4. Let's add S Flicker. You can change this if you want. I just don't change anything. Now let's add 4 color. Radiant. I like to set the blending mode to soft light. I like to change these colors to somewhat purple, make them all a little bit different purple. And the last effect I like to add here is S Motion Detect. I also think this is a pretty cool look and a pretty cool background. You can add even more different backgrounds if you want here. You can really do a lot with this effect. And that's about it. If you have any other questions, then please let us know. You can join our Discord server and ask us questions there and we will answer way faster. It was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.